super weird. I kind of hope we see that interaction today, but what I do know what we will be seeing is Oasis Gardens. So yes. we have a 33% chance of being correct, and we nailed we it. We got it. We got the very first. We got it the very first map. This is this is fantastic. I I am thrilled about and, this. And Jungle, I gotta sit here immediately eat 95% of the words I just spit out there. Meta, 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 meta. Nobody's currently on meta. Clear running Echo at the moment, and Abdallah rocking that Roadhog. Yeah, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the Torb? Is that it? Yeah, I'm just that excited. Was... There's no way he busts out Torb here on Garden. No, he does right here. Because here, he's, he's, he's a Torb machine. Um, but interestingly as well, we've got Matt Merck on the Orisa, and I feel like this is probably in response uh, you know, to just expecting Abdallah to be here on the Roadhog, right? Because yes. if yes. you're going to have a tank that's resistant to a Roadhog, this is going to be the one, right? Also, the Javelin's interrupt hook. You know, if he hooks a oh, teammate, yeah. you Javelin him backwards, he's going to miss the combo, and that's a pretty critical thing to miss out on with that Roadhog. I think the same reason the Echo is coming out. I think this is cancellation of the Roadhog. They want to use yeah. the nades, they want to use the beam, but as wow. Matt Burke gets taken down early, things are going to look desperate all of a sudden early on for the side of... Boise State, UTD, they come out strong, but Boise, they got a cap here, Juggle. I mean, they yeah. found at least a free 15% of the chaos. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely going to be UT Dallas coming away with his first fight win, right? Um, and again, it was Abdallah, right? We, we were expecting this. We were expecting this kind of hog dominance coming out from them. Um, and in addition, it was the first pick was on the Arisa as well. So um, they've already got the comp that says, yeah, we want to counter this Roadhog. Now they've got to make it happen as we move into the second fight. Moving into the second fight, the pressure on the Javelin comes out too a little too early. And Abdallah's got the green light to move forward. He's going to whiff the hook, and it's going to be a little bit harder for UTD to move in. But even a fraction of an elimination here could be enough. And instead, it's an elimination against them. If Phenomenal railgun shot from Plato opens the door for the side of Boise. Kashir's turret goes down, more damage offline, and Bagel gonna find another elimination. Abdallah, the Roadhog missing. This is Boise's time to get in there and create some chaos right here, right now, off the back of Matt Merck, that robotic horse carrying the entire team into <laughs> oh the fight. And that's a 4K for Matt Merck to seal the deal in favor of Boise. Now they just gotta play that catch up game. Uh, four and a half K. I mean, they got the turret too, right? True, <laughs> at true. The, at the end. Um, and it, this was great as well for uh, for Boise State because they got that initial 10, 50% on the board, right? So now yep. this, this extra fight is going to mean a little bit more, and that's good because um, the Dallas already got 41% on the board. But we got a couple of ults coming up. Both Kirikos have their ultimates. The Crucially, Jukebox is lagging behind, so that could be a difference maker here. And we got that Katsune Clash early on. Everybody gets the speed boost. Everyone gets the cooldown reduction, and now it's about the raw damage that can be found. The beat is forced. Kashir trying to clean this fight up right now, and it's going to be happening against him. The Echo brings out Transformation, a desperate attempt to stay alive, and it looks like the Roadhog Transformation is null and void. Terra Surge from Matt Burke wow. finds Abdallah, pedal the next to fall, and that's another fight won off the shoulders of Matt Burke. Okay, that was absolutely huge. I mean, you, you typically don't see Terra Surge get that get kind of anything. value. anything! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really don't. So, so to, to get a pick, right, especially a pick right at the beginning of that fight as well, or it, rather being the first pick, I think that is exceptional as well. Um, but uh, one of the big things is now UT, uh, or Boise State, they don't have any ults in the bank. It's going to come down to this, um, it's going to come down to this overclock here from Pedal. Uh-oh, Pedal, Pedal! Oh. oh no, just completely deleted! Yeah, Matt Burke able to find them out initially. 84, 82% and counting here. Two players down for wow. UT Dallas. This fight goes handily the way of Boise State. And now we are in last fight territory here, Zeppelins. Oh my gosh, and look at that. I. Why did that just happen? Yeah, I'm not sure. What was that? That's really fascinating. I, I think I think Plato's so confident there's no recontest. I mean, maybe he just slid off the map. That's a very real possibility as well. But the Ooh. recontest isn't a recontest. It's just a quick fight win for the side of UTD. Backs against the wall, 1%, less than a second away from losing this first stage of Oasis. And they're going to be able to win the fight out pretty convincingly. But Juggle, I mean, that's the second fight in a row. No ultimates. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, and it, and it honestly looks like there's going to be very few coming into this next one as well. We're going to have Terra Surge for Matt Merck, but again, we talk about how iffy that one is. Yes. We will get a couple of Kitsune rushes coming online. Tinspire's going to be there a little bit ahead in this, so UT Dallas uh, possibly in a little bit better position to make this happen clear. Also swapping over to the Reaper as well, so again, try and put more pressure now that Abdala has swapped over to the Winston, but the clear gets chased out heavily. The Katsune rush there causing a lot of problems 
for Boise State, but they were able to take that fight off of the point settlements. Yeah, that's the important part, right? They bought themselves an additional 15-20%. The fight's going to be happening once again. Now a late Kitsune is oh, going to wow. work wonders for the side of Boise. I cannot believe how well that works out. That Merc brings out the Terra Surge, uses that cooldown reduction, and it looks like he can't find anything, but the stall potential was enough to scare UTD off of point. Boise comes through quickly. They find a complete and total team kill, and they will win stage one of Oasis. They are halfway done with Oasis with map number one. And this was exceptional, right? Uh, again, yes. we, we, we came in, right, expecting UT Dallas yeah, yeah. Uh, to be the more dominant uh, showing team here. It was very close. It was very close, but Boise did edge them out. Now we head into city center. So this is gonna this is gonna be really interesting. Again, I, I feel like honestly, you might actually have to give the edge a little bit here to Boise State as think, well. Yeah, yeah, because I, I I think their dive is going to look a little bit stronger here. Uh, but Abdallah is hovering over the Winston right now. There it is. That Winston is just gonna be surprising to say the very least. But we talked about using Orisa to cancel out the hog, Echo to cancel out the hog. I will say the hog was canceled out. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was not able to find value there. Abdallah is incredible on that road hog, but now he has to prove that statement earlier, the jack of all tanks. Show us a Winston just as good as that road hog, because that Winston's going to do phenomenal here against Boise's current composition. It's going to cancel out the Orisa very early on. The bubble can separate the supports from the front line, and you can take the front line down if your team's coordinated enough. We also got to talk about Kashir on the Echo, trying to catch somebody out in the sky. Clear on the Reaper now, so a lot of free damage from the heavens if Plato can't focus up. Clear uses Wraith. Can't get out of there in time. Kashir with the beam finds that Reaper early. This should give UTD that first point cap advantage. Uh, yeah, a, a huge, huge value that they got out of out of the Echo right there. And uh, a, a swap that I don't think uh, either of us were really anticipating, really uh, yes. expecting here. But Kashir, we have seen them on the Echo before and seen them get tremendous value. So not surprised to see them do well. Just maybe a little bit surprised to see them in this situation. Matt Merck swapping over to the Winston now to start to match. The only difference is going to be that Reaper and um, and the Echo right now. So going to be a little bit of a high ground advantage that Kashir is going to have as this fight gets underway. We're going to see Maverick trying to push on a point, but in the meantime, Plater already found wow. his fire with a headshot. So, without your here we go. Things are going to be a lot more difficult, and with that, it's just a quick and easy cleanup here for Boise. It, it's incredible. We almost fell for the exact thing UTD just did, where oh, the fight was all focused on the Winston, and in the moment, everyone's looking at the monkey, everyone's looking to keep him alive. Plato snuck in, found that railgun yep. shot, found the most important pick, and then the team can oh. come through. Just now poor Tinspire can't even make it out of spawn. Sojourn so unbelievably strong right now. She's going to get nerfed very soon. It's a phenomenal <laughs> thing to hear, but soon is not soon enough for this Grand Finals to be happening. Plato now just playing this puppy dog guard game. Boise gonna be able to recap almost the exact same percent UTD had last time. They had 39 when Boise turned things around. Now it's 36. Can UTD answer a little bit earlier? Is Boise gonna climb back to 99? Can Sune rush is the ultimate I'm gonna be looking at for from Boise. It looks like it's the beat instead from Bagel, but it can't save wow. Plato. Wow, no it can't. And Abdallah with the primal rage as well, causing a lot of problems in the back line, making sure those heals can't get there. Chosen though, gonna be able to strike back, uh, taking Petal out wow. of the equation and uh, just flurry of kills off of the back of that Septilence. I mean, a Turned miracle that work. fight on its head. A, a miracle work there, and that was that is my favorite way to use Kitsune Rush right now, is when you lose somebody, you pop Kitsune Rush to make up for that missing player. Yes. It works wonders, and it's so impressive, and it's so powerful. We see it at the highest rank of play just like that. Now with a little bit of sneaky play there, Clear is able to make it out with his life. I'm keeping an eye on that Death Blossom because it is going to be huge or it is going to be devastating. And the Suzu just can't do enough wow. there. Clear with a three-piece. It is huge indeed. And that's got to be another fight win in favor of Boise State. This is the team that 3-0'd Northwood. Yeah. And they're this, looking to 2-0 UTD on map number one. This is the, this is the number five seed. That's right? insane. Yeah. Uh, Boise is playing out of their mind here today so far. And uh, so far, UT Dallas just doesn't seem to quite have an answer for it. They've got, they forced Abdallah back onto the Roadhog now. Right, going to see if maybe they can get a little bit more value with that. Maybe you can start to shut down Matt Merck with a hook, something like that. But we've got the overclock already online for Petal. And when Petal's got an overclock, that means danger is in the way here for Boise State University. 97% though, and counting. We do have somebody uh, contesting point right now. A couple of people oh. actually from a uh, huge pick coming out onto Matt Merck as you're able to find them swapping over to the Reaper. So University of Texas, Dallas, they will get another life here. They will get the fight again on City Center and see if they can claw their way back. 
juggle. I'd love to be excited for UTD, but unfortunately, this is exactly what happened back on Gardens. Almost to the percentage where right. Boise gets all the way up to 99. They can't cap that last fight, and then all they have to do is stall until they get an ultimate. They run in with an ultimate, and they win that fight. They win it out early. But if UTD can force them to stall long enough, they can farm ultimates of their own. Right now, nobody has one, but they are coming up on quite a few. I am keeping a close, close eye on that whole hog coming up from Abdallah in a minute here, because that will cancel out and they'll reset instantaneously. Uh, yeah, it, it absolutely can. And if you don't have that anchor on point with Matt Merck, then things start to fall apart at the seams. But right now, heavy uh, fighting happening on the left side of the point. We actually have the protection suits are coming out already. Now Abdallah going to be free to use oh. the whole hug. Gets a hook onto the Arisa. She's going to be deleted. Oh, and my goodness. That, another one, Abdallah. Abdallah has found the hog again. We saw, we saw him a little bit at the very beginning of Gardens, right? But he's back now. He he's wasn't back. doing that well. I mean, holy cow, no. three successful hooks in a row, three yeah. eliminations off the back of them. An incredible utilization of that Katsune Rush. It goes to show, he just used three hooks in like eight yeah. seconds. Yeah, I mean, exactly. that cooldown reduction is absurd from the Katsune Rush, and it is so unbelievably valuable on a high damage, close caliber character like Roadhog. Now this Katsune has chosen. The beat comes out from Bagel as well. That additional healing is going to help the team feel more confident. Clear in the back line, has that death blossom. It looks like he might not even wow. need it. He's going to pop it for Giggles, but I think this fight's oh going void. 99 to 99 is two go down, clear traded out. Bagel is missing. This is absolutely still winnable for both sides. Kashir! Kashir trying to end it right. Kashir, right. Canal. He might not be able to, though. We might be going all the way to that third point, but it's two remaining members. The Terra Surge. The Kitsune the has to keep him alive. The Suzu there to dodge as well, and the Terra Surge finds absolutely nothing. 99% online. It's a 2v2 right now, Juggle. Uh, this is absolutely insane. That fight, by all measures, should have been over in favor of Boise State. But a huge comeback here from University of Texas, Dallas. They're still holding on strong. They've got several more members. We're going to have, I believe, that is a, a Doomfist coming in now from Abdallah. Truly, the Jack of oh, no. all tanks. But they're not able to stand in the way of Plato's over a clock. Yucha coming in, taking out the tank. Now things are starting to look a little bit worse here for University of Texas Dallas. They did flip the point, but Boise is going to get it back in just a moment. Going to get it back, and that should be it, Juggle. I don't think anyone can touch fast enough. Wow. What a phenomenal turnaround from Boise State. I mean, that is impressive a hundred times over. That fight should have been down and out early. UTD, they clawed back. They got close, but as I always say, close, just not going to cut it. Only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And now we're going to get a good look at Matt Merck's Orisa play. I guarantee this is that four piece that back yeah. on Gardens. And it was such a huge moment. This is where Boise truly stole the momentum of this map. Yeah, the secret weapon right now, it appears, is the is the battle cattle, Orisa. Uh, showing up in a, uh, just a huge way, in a way that I don't think any of us expected, right? Yes. Uh, like, Arisa, y y y y she is not in the conversation when you talk about meta. Yep. She's just not. But in this situation, it was beautifully read, I believe, by Boise State, e even beforehand, right? I mean, yep. they rolled out with the Arisa. They knew what they were doing. They had a plan. They knew what UC Dallas was going to come in with, and they said, okay, well, we got the time. And they showed it. They showed us a lot of terrifying things, though. And it's funny because <laughs> back before this most recent patch for Atari and Azur, the Diva got changed a little bit, there was kind of that discussion of the trifecta of Winston Diva Zone. It was kind of a rock and roll game. The entire time that meta is just, I swear, if you look at any of the bots, I kept saying, if we're talking about those three, Orisa's number one. She's right yes. around the corner. She's hitting in the depth. She's hitting in the wing. And now that those changes have happened, Zarya has fallen a little bit. And yep. I think Orisa is going to take her place. She's so incredibly strong. She's so impressive. In her new kit, the complete and total rework going into Overwatch 2 did miracle work for that character. Because Orisa could not get the value she needed in Overwatch number one. They changed everything. And I genuinely believe she has the potential to be one of the highest skill in the uh, yeah, especially considering the uh, the energy, right? Yes. Uh, that is a hard shot to win. Right? It's, it's devastating, but it's good as yeah. well. It's a nice, you know, nice payoff there. 50 damage if it hits, 100 if you hit a wall. Right. Yeah, so that's uh, that's huge. I mean, uh, half of a squishy. Half yeah. of a squishy. Right then and there. So now we uh, we have to go back to what we said at the beginning of the broadcast. Oh, it's time, right? isn't it? That's here on the casting booth. We heard the uh, we heard the song for King's Row. Now entering King's Row. Yeah, There's we don't know if that's we no don't know if it's true yet. Way. We don't know if it's true yet, but I mean, I hear, oh, no, I hear the start of the music. No, I've I don't, got I don't, I've got the message. I've got the message as well. We I, are going to Kings. University of Texas Dallas is taking Boise State to Kings. I love UTD. They are an incredible team. One of the top ten in the country. Yeah, but this is insane. I'm sorry. This I, I think they're capable of winning. 
But when a team has a 98% win rate on a map, yeah. and you can pick to go somewhere else, I, I think this is an incredible risk in, in jungle. If it's worth the reward, this will be a legendary moment. Yeah. But if they just get smoked by Boise, they're one map away from losing grand finals. Yeah, exactly. Because this is best of five, right? There's not a whole lot of room for error here for either right. of these teams. And so you're already down a map. Right. This and is it, so risky. But if UT Dallas can come away with this map win, that is a statement, and that is going to crush the mental, I think, for Boise State. As we start to move into this map, we've actually got clear on the Bastion. First time I think we've seen them come out in recent history as well. Reinhardt, too. So this is uh, this is very, uh, very interesting. Very what you would have expected, I think, uh, a year or so ago. But Abdallah already able to find a pick onto Chosen. So that Baptiste is gone. No last ditch efforts for you, but it doesn't seem uh, again to matter. Huge picks coming in here in favor of UT Dallas, but one tick on the board already for Boise. It's a very intense moment here. They've got 32% of the point and a little less than a minute here. Abdallah can't find the hook, and Bagel playing so high up that that Roadhog really struggles to do damage fast enough to take him down. The Lucio returns to the fight early on, and that Merc going to bring out that terrifying horse once again. It has been an insanely powerful play so far. The turret goes down. That could be a small green light, kind of a bit of a, a right. waving flag for this team to continue moving forward, and that Merc doing just that. Wow. Jukebox is gone. Plato finds the railgun. That's almost the nail in the coffin. Okay, there's definitely Definitely the nail in the coffin as Kashir wow. also beats a railgun early on from Plato. Plato's newest philosophy, stay out of my way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A huge, huge plays coming out there. I love to see this kind of aggressive swapping too here uh, right off the bat. Uh, Mammer going immediately over to the green, but just realizing that they can't really sustain on the right heart, right? There, there's just no way. So even with the Baptiste, right? The Baptiste was uh, picked out very, very early. So. Um, Boise State coming to this with the Terra Surge. They're going to have the Sound Barrier and the Death Blossom just online. Just swapped to Orisa. Oh, my gosh. That's... One fight. Yeah. Oh, my. This guy yeah. is so Terra talented. Surge. Terra Surge already. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's ridiculous. But on the other side of the question, we're going to have Full Hawk. We're going to have the Kitsune Rush as well. So I believe if Dallas can get in, get this Kitsune Rush off quickly before even uh, Bagel or Chosen able to get their ultimates up online, they could have a little bit of an advantage here. That advantage, that little big can go a long way. Overclock early from Pedal, gonna be canceled out. Terra Surge doesn't find much. Plato's the first to fall. Actually, the hands of Jukebox. A little bit of supportal combat, trying to give UTT that boost they need to keep the success moving. And there's another one. Talk about supportal combat. Doi one on that. Kiriko takes down Bagel early on. And it looks like Clear gonna have to hold this ult perhaps a little longer than they wanted. We're just now going beneath the four minute mark. That's the amount of time Boise started with. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, they've got to be feeling great about their progress so far. Yes, they took uh, a loss in the oh. fight right here. Big hook coming in from Abdallah. That's going to be good for uh, 10 more seconds, right? Burned what? off the clock. But Clear actually coming in. They're uh, pushing. They're pushing the issue. Boise State has regrouped so quickly. They have caught University of Texas Dallas wow. by surprise. They've taken the cart, and now if Dallas gets another fight here in the streets of King's Row, it's likely going to be scuffed. Let me tell you what, I love that Reaper guy. I mean, that is just <laughs> so incredible. Clear puts down four of the five members. The fifth one, Bagel, caught off early by Abdallah. It's definitely going to hurt. Now, Clear still, he did not pop Blossom no. in that fight. He still has it in his back pocket. I think Atune comes out early from the side of Boise. They want to win this fight quickly with dominant fashion, and it feels like they're going to be able to do so. Plato putting the overclock, and actually now Boise committing every ultimate they have except for that, that Beat Matt Merck, another Terra Surge already online here. Uh, yeah, th this is yeah, absolutely insane, right? It, it, not only is not only is Matt Merck getting this Terra Surge it, at a ridiculous place, but they're actually finding a lot of value with it as well, right? Yes. They're not necessarily getting kills, but they're slowing down, they're disrupting this composition, and they're getting a lot of damage in. So then it's just up to the DPS to finish things off. But now we've got Kashir over onto the Echo now. A little bit late of a swap, so it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to be able to get their ultimate online quick enough because that's the biggest threat you have as an Echo. Absolutely. That Echo, she's not going to be able to utilize the high ground as much as she wants. Bagel puts down a beam early, canceling out the Katune from the side of UTT. And I think it's a perfect ultimate execution from them. Immediately the trade comes wow. through. The tank for a support. Going to be huge, but I don't think it's enough to force Boise back. Now perhaps Chosen also falling might help, but clearing oh your God. back line. I mean, you got to get this guy out of here. Uh, yeah, clear is just... 
uh, finding all the value that they need right now. Plato is coming as well with a pick. So University of Texas Dallas, they're falling apart at the seams here at the very, very end. But Matt Merck is down. This is a golden opportunity here for University of Texas Dallas. Pedal going to come out, use the overclock as well. But in the meantime, Jukebox has fallen, so they're not going to be able to engage. Disengage quite as quickly as they want, quite as cleanly as they want either. But University of Texas Dallas will be able to hold on for at least the moment. Holding on for the moment should be important here. They've stalled I, uh, only a minute off the clock, and the pressure building against this squad is not what you want to see. The ultimate soon to be coming from the side of Boise are going to be that Death Blossom once again, that overclock that Plato feels like he hasn't missed a shot with so far, and that Kitsune in the pocket literally popped the moment it is available. That is the green light for this team to continue storming forward. Abdallah does not get to participate in this fight, and it feels like the rest of UTD might not either. Blink, can you miss it? Four of the five members have already fallen, and poor Petal just can't get out of the way and time a team kill for Boise, and oh, I'll be honest, a very strong push, but 241 is achievable. It is achievable, but I, I, it's it's on it's on the uh, the edge, I think, of doable right here, right? Two, 241, uh, it, to me, that kind of like two minute mark, right? That's that's important. Uh, if you can get over two minutes, you have drastically increased your chances of success. Oh, yeah. In uh, especially on King's Row. Now we're we're talking about Escort and Hybrid, right? In particular, of those two. Uh, uh, of those two, I think King's Row is one of the easier to full cap. Yes, right? I can agree with that. Yeah. I can agree and with so that. I think, you know, seeing a 241, like you said, time bank, it's not, it's worrying. It's certainly worrying, but it's not a death sentence here yeah, sure. for UT Dallas. Sure. They absolutely can't come back out this. And this is a this is a squad, too, that I think is going to also look a little bit stronger on attack. Hmm. I think I can agree with that. I think, yeah, okay, I'm on, I'm on, I'm because, on board. Because I'm of the hog, board. right? The yep. pick potential, right? If you can get one of those picks, you can just move forward very, very quickly. That's not hog. That's not hog. But you know what? Doors haven't opened. <laughs> There's a team competition here that Derpy, a, a member of UTD, actually taught me for us to be able to win a King's Row game one time when I was playing comp with him. Uh -huh. it, it was Roadhog Bastion. You go around, you speed boost around the far side of Statue. Uh -huh. He hooks anyone and I melt them down at Bastion and then you have a 5v4 oh, advantage yeah, yeah, yeah. and it works super well we've won several comp games with that exact strategy before and I think it'd be very funny if we did it again but right now I think we're going to be seeing for the first time here juggle oh, the horse matchup Abdallah immediately oh. not super confident in it wants to swap off a little bit more comfortable brings out the Winston the echo from Kashir I think it makes way more sense here than it did on third point Kings you've got a lot more free space to work with and honestly if the Sojourn's not looking at you there's not a lot of people to put you down exactly that uh, that was my thought uh, my thought exactly, right? Because he's going to find a whole lot more value on the Echo here. But not if Doyle goes down very early on to another headshot, another rail coming in from Plato. Clear going to be able to uh, get rid of another player as well. This is a nice first hold here for Boise. They made this one look easy. They really did. This is a very impressive fight from them. We're looking at already about a minute off the clock. The first fight very dominant in their favor. Actually a little bit shorter than the first fight Boise had to endure to cap. But... They had capped already, or like they were beginning to cap at this point. So we are going to see statistically UTD falling behind a little bit. They're not able to pick up that momentum quite yet. And now here's clear in the hotel. Nobody looks wow. at him. Nobody checks their corners. And with Jukebox gone, the fight's essentially null and void. Suzu pops early, so maybe a counter pick could win it out. But now both your supports are missing. Your tank is gone, and Boise just mowing down UT Dallas right now. Uh, yeah, uh, Boise is looking indomitable right now on the defense. Uh, and they're... They're able to do it even despite, right, uh, Kashir coming in on that flank, right? Nobody was looking at them, able to get an early pick. But, yeah, Boise able to just pick things up, start back again. Kish uh, clear now on the flank right here. They should be able to get the Death Blossom in this fight. Protection Suzu has to come out already for the side of UT Dallas. So they're just backing off and seeing if they can regroup a little bit, get some of their abilities back before they start to push in once again. Getting these abilities back is going to be the name of the game. Half the time bank already missing, and it feels like a true fight hasn't taken place since the very first. First, a huge death blossom into the back line, but perhaps not big enough. Never mind. Plato's going to get the elimination they needed. Both supports missing. And I've got to talk about this juggle. I don't think we've seen a fight won by Boise yet that did not start with both supports being eliminated. The target focus yeah. is incredible. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. They, uh, they're they crippling UT Dallas right now at the knees every single time. 
right? Uh, literally, because you're not able to walk in there, right? You can't move forward if you don't have your supports. You can't take any space. You can't do anything that you need to do if your supports aren't there. They're, they're the cornerstone of your team. And so and taking them out so consistently, so quickly, so early on is just ending the, leading to such a huge advantage. But Terra Search coming out now from Abdallah. Matt Burke going to strike, though, with one of their own after they get a pick sound barrier committed from Bagel, but you wonder if they even needed it a little less than 90 seconds, 80 as a matter of fact, left to go and not even a tick yet for UTD. You know, Juggle, I, I, I love to build narratives, I love to tell underdog stories, but I'm not going to argue a 98% win rate. Right. I, I think I think this is just exactly what I expected to happen if they chose to go to King's Row. Unfortunately, it's going to be happening, and it's possibly going to cost them a second map in the series. That leaves them one spot for Wiggle Room. They will have to completely yeah. reverse sweep. Three maps in a row against Boise State. One of the top 10 teams in the entire country. Kashir finds the opening pick. The Overwatch factor kicking in at its finest until the very last second. They can't make it happen, but in these closing moments, they're going to be able to finally get some space. Kashir has a blossom. He's waiting for the overextension from Boise, but I don't think they're going to take it. I think they're going to want to... Oh, they just are. kidding! I thought they'd want to retake the arch fight, and it's wow. going to cost them. Kashir says, get <laughs> out of here! That's a three-piece <laughs> against Boise State. That fight null and void in its entirety. Uh, a courageous choice from Boise. I think I honestly think it would have been smarter to peel back and take the fight on Arch. Yeah, take the fight on Arches. That's what I Let was thinking. Let him cap. Too. Just take the Arch. Yeah, just take just take Arches, right? Um, because it's it's arguably I, I think stronger to it, it, like honestly getting Arches it, it buys you. It feels like Seriously. like one to two fights because it is that hard to push through as an attacking squad, right? I always call it King's Row one and a half because people get stalled there yeah. all the time. It's so common, but. Boise, they didn't want to run that risk. They wanted the full hold. They wanted to end the map early. And that last fight, you know, it may have cost them all momentum, but it looks like it literally does not matter. They're just going to take it back. They're just going to take momentum right back. You know, that kunai putting the metal on pedal there, and yeah. all of a sudden it's a 5v4. Uh, yeah, and it's University of Dallas uh, pushed back so far right now. They're trying to disengage. They're trying to see if they can get away without letting anybody else get picked. They're fortunately able to do it, but uh, not for lack of effort on Boise's part, because you're almost gets caught out there in those estimates. Could have been dangerous, but that close, just not going to cut it. Katsune comes out from Joy 1, the speed boost, cooldown reduction there to help the squad, but clear. Actually, first unsuccessful Death Blossom. Going to be marked in the books there. Chosen chooses to Katsune as well. The capitalization does not fall fast enough, and wow. Matt Merck will make sure that it's going to be another fight won against the side of UTD. A lot of ultimates commit from both sides. This next fight feels like it might have to be dry here unless we get a bit of an overclock battle. Uh, yeah, th this is an absolutely in, in, in phenomenal hold that we're seeing from Boise as well. Now, if University of Texas Dallas is able to cap second point, if they're able to get through streets, they're only going to have three minutes, right? They're not going to yep. be able to finish with as much time as Boise State at all. But we've already got an engagement happening here. Plato forced to drop back a little bit. We already see the um, protection Suzu come out as well. Pedal has as well as Plato, though, the overclock online. So this fight, I think, is going to be won or lost by Social Plus. I agree wholeheartedly. The overclock combat finally going to be happening, but Bagel has the beat. We unfortunately don't see it on the side of UT Dallas. Just a couple of percent away, but those few percent make all the difference. Jukebox is gone. Pedal is falling. Clear gets traded out. Too little, too late. And the Death Blossom from oh. Kashir is just deleted from this mortal coil. That is another dominant fight win for the side of Boise State. What is that? 40 seconds left on the clock. That is one good fight and yeah. capping second in overtime. Uh, yeah, and all that University of Texas Dallas is going to have to use in this is the sound barrier, right? And what a tough Hello, ultimate man. to have is kind of your last ditch effort, right? Because you want to save it. You want to save it for a defensive opportunity, yep. but you might want to use it aggressively here. You might want to use this as a way to try to push in, get a couple of kills, get some momentum here in the streets phase. We're going to see Abdallah pushing in pretty aggressively with the Arisa. Matt Burke does have the Terra Surge online, and you can't count them out when they have it, even though it is definitely not the best ultimate we can see. Chosen coming in now with the Kitsune rush. That's going to be Boise State now pushing forward after they cut away from the damage. Overtime has been triggered, but there's only a handful of players left to make that none. Boise State will go up 2-0 to zero here I mean, in the Grand Finals. This is the, 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 the beat without the Kitsune rush. The overextension from the team costs Lucio to go down early, and unfortunately UTD just cannot win without that Lucio in their back pocket. Yeah. It's probably the eighth fight in a row Jukebox is the first one to go down. I mean, it really feels like it. Unfortunately, those core support from side of UTD just caught out every single fight. And it's, it's really no fault of their own. It's the target focus from Boise unparalleled right now. I mean, yeah. they choose a target, that target dies 100% of the time. 
Yeah. And, and Jungle, I know I'm beating a dead horse here. I know I'm getting repetitive. You took a team to a map where they have a 98% win rate in two years. Yeah. I don't I don't understand the expectation there. I, I don't understand what the mindset was going to be because in reality, you you have a two percent chance at winning. Yeah. Any other map, you have a higher percent chance. I just feel like it was a very poor map choice and, and it cost them, clearly. I mean it it, it may cost them this entire series. It, it, it very well. It very well, yeah. is, right? And uh, you know the the other thing is too, right? You send Boise State there. You send them to their best map, right? That's just in the build entire their, game. Right. That's just going to build yeah. their confidence. Right. So now you know Boise is they're feeling themselves. Right? Absolutely. They're firing on all cylinders. And one other thing I think we have to we have to address as well is just the the tank matchup, right? Matt Merck versus Abdallah. Abdallah has been so dominant. So long here, but Matt Burke is just shutting it down. Matt Burke is absolutely out taking that ball. Yeah, absolutely. It's incredible to look at this and just kind of see what's, what's happening. Look at that line. Matt Burke has a dollar's number left, right, and center. This yeah. Orisa has been arguably the best Orisa I've ever seen. I'm not even saying that to be dramatic. This has been every single ability is flawless. It's perfect. The Terra Surgeons that don't find eliminations, they make space. They pull somebody in, throw the rest of the team. Pick off of it. It, it. It's truly breathtaking. It's a master class example of how yeah. Marisa can be viable like this. But we got to talk about it as well. And I'm not trying to put Pedal down in this comparison, but Clear versus Pedal right now. Yeah. Clear is having a field day out there. I yeah. mean, the amount of fights won with Clear dropping a 3 4 5k without a Death Blossom have yeah. been numerous. It has been the Reaper show all day long right now. There's one map left for things to change. And, and I'm truly hopeful things change. I would love yeah. to go to a map number four. We've got our hybrid map coming up next, but if Dallas doesn't make changes, I hate to say it might be a 3-0. Uh, yeah, it, it certainly could be, right? And this map choice, I mean, is absolutely critical here, right? It is because crucial. You sent, you sent Boise to their best map, right? In addition, that's that's a brawl map, right? So if you're, if you're Dallas, I think you want to try and lean into this chaos some, right? Lean into something where you can yep. get a little bit wacky, you can get a little bit weird, you can catch Boise on the wrong foot, right? You can give them something unexpected that they just don't know how to deal with. Now, if we were going to control, if we were going to push, I feel like I would have some ideas here. But I've got to be honest, uh, moving into Escort, I'm not entirely sure where you can where you can gain the most chaos. There, we're going to... Dorado? Maybe? It, it's It's... The map we're going to makes a lot of sense because it's the newest escort map in the game. It is one where you can play a lot of unique team compositions. You can bring out a lot of characters we don't see on other maps. One of those characters being one that Petal made his name with, that Widowmaker. Right. We're going into Circuit Royale coming up next. Widowmaker from Petal is what I expect to see. And I will be honest, he is one of the best Widowmakers in the collegiate scene. If oh, Petal can be enabled, this can be winnable. But if Petal gets deleted, fight after fight after fight, if Petal gets the jukebox experience going into this third map, UTD is going to crumble. I, I really, I, I have seen this team. UTD knows I love them. They know I'm a huge fan. But right now, we are seeing critical blunders in a terrifying moment. It is a 2-0 series right now. This map needs to be flawless. Yes. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. And... You know, this to me is kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum as King's Row. Sure. In that this is a very tough map to full cap. Very, very tough map to full cap, right? I agree. So, um, yeah, this is an opportunity, I think, for, for us to get to see the Sigma from both of these squads. Um, would be very surprised if we don't see them coming out here. Um, and like you said, a pedal already already hovering over the window. I mean, it's not surprising, not surprising in the least. So I like this map. I, I feel like they went from uh, possibly the weakest map they could have picked to possibly arguably I think the strongest. Yeah, I, I think you've made a great point there, Juggle. I mean, that map. I'm not going to keep nice. honing in on how difficult it was, but oh, this is nice. Oh, we get we get blessed <laughs> with a little megalovania from Bagel there. I always love to hear it. It's yep. always one of my favorite moments is when the players bust out their musical talents in game but as this goes to open up here the spawn doors have fully opened two team compositions that i did not fully expect to see i find this really interesting clear on the genji i think this is an incredible play i think 
uh, Boise is completely aware that Petal's Widow is going to be coming out. And as Abdala goes down early, there's no shield to hide behind. Clear traded out, but a DPS for a tank. Not what you want to see. Tinspire for Matt Merck. That's a little more impactful. Even without that Kiriko, I think UTD should be holding bridge. I think they should try to stall out for a little while and then you know, move back. They're obviously not going to win due to spawn disadvantage, but stalling sure. for that time could be critical. Every second could be their last one in this tournament right now. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely. Everything is on the line here. $2,500 in scholarship money for both of these squads. Matt Merck trying to push around this corner just a little bit, taking a little bit of damage, seeing if they can get an idea of who's there. Going to go and drop their bubble, but they are deleted immediately. Amazing. Jukebox with a final blow right there. Plato trying to find some damage, trying to get something going, but forced to back off as well, sliding out of oh. danger. But they're getting Chase Petal coming alive now. Headshot takes out Plato. Another on to Chosen. Clear the next to fall. All right, Petal is back, Zeppelin. Petal, welcome back to the fray, my friend. A phenomenal performance there on the Widowmaker, as expected. Cannot stress enough how good this kid is on the Widow. It is flawless every single time. I, I love seeing it, and it looks like he's going to try to keep it up and running. Now, those Widow sites, that improviser, or Infrasites, excuse me, is incredibly powerful, but it looks like Petal doesn't even need it. Now he's not letting Plato play the game. Plato, a real wow. power player, a real playmaker for the side of Void. He has been deleted, I believe, three times in a row, at least two. And oh my oh, goodness, there he goes. Geez. Petal, let's go, man. This is what I want to see. Kashir puts down Chosen as well, and over half the time back about to be gone here for Boise wow. State. UTT backs against the wall. Swan song yet to be sung. And they are looking for a full hold here on Circuit Royale. Uh, yeah, and look at this as well. They are so far ahead in the old economy. Now, Petal does go down, so this is a huge opportunity here for Boise. Can they capitalize on it? Because you're trying to drop back as quick as they can. But again, they've got four ultimates online. They can start oh, I love this. if they want to. Kitsune Rush, or Primal Rush, oh, no! and Kitsune Rush coming in. <laughs> Mavericks striking Kashir across the map, able to take them out. We've got the Sound Barrier now committed as well from UT Dallas. They want to hold on to this as long as they can, Zeppelis, but I don't know how much more they got in the tank. Yeah, the Kitsune from Chosen here is going to cancel out the rest of the team pretty early on. Now, if you're UTD, it looks like you're going to lose the fight, but it's not something to be worried about. You did a phenomenal job with that full hold, much more successful than we saw on King's Road. The time bank going to be about a minute less than they had on King's Tins. Fire puts down Matt immediately. You run to that car, UTD. You grab that right now, and you reestablish your dominance because that is a critical blunder on the side. Maybe not a blunder, a critical pick for UTD rather than a blunder from Boise. Nagel falls in the hands of Petal once again. Plato oh not far behind, and this Widowmaker, the longer she goes uncontested, the better and the better. Things continue to look for UTD. I have seen the cart stalled right here hundreds of times already, and I would not be surprised to see it happen again, but with three minutes still standing and plenty of ults in the bank juggle, what do you think we're going to see going into this next fight? Uh, we're going we're gonna to see some ults coming out from Blissey. That is for sure. University of Texas Dallas, they're going to want to try and take this as slow as they can to try and build up their ultimate banks or just play four picks. We're seeing already it's going to be Kashir backing off now. Sandberg coming in. Oh. That's huge. <laughs> the Death Blossom in conjunction with it. That is a quick team wipe for Blissey. Can't see him, but I'm golf clapping there. I, I think Clear really was a power player in that moment. He didn't get a lot of um, final blows, but the damage he stacked onto the team for his team to just clean it up out there, phenomenal moment. Right, now we see Petal having to swap onto the Sojourn. It's a hit scan player. It's similar to Widow in some ways, but very different in others. And Play-Doh right now has been the more dominant Sojourn going into this series. Maybe Petal feeling a little bit more a little bit more warmed up on that long distance hit scan. Let's see if he's going to be able to make some magic happen on the Sojourn. That disruptor field comes out early onto the card, forcing a bit of disruption. Plato goes slow, but the healing is there. Whoa, whoa, Through the whoa, bubble whoa. on the pedal. Can't play the game any longer. Kitsune has to make up for that missing Sojourn, and it looks like it's not even going to be able to. Abdala shot out of the sky like a clay pigeon, and Plato with an incredible, an incredible two piece to break that fight win for the side of Boise once again. They capped first and half, they capped second in half the time it took them to get first. Uh, yeah, they're going to get another minute and a half here. So three and a half to get through this final point. That's a pretty healthy time bank. Again, this is one of the hardest maps, I think, to full capture in Overwatch currently. Um, uh, three and a half minutes, definitely enough time to do it, but it's still going to be tough regardless. But big thing, Chosen has the Kitsune Rush here. Tinspire very, very far behind. So this fight should go relatively easily the way of Boise State, as long as they don't make any huge mistakes and as long as they can mitigate Petal um, and this Primal Rage coming out from Abdallah.
Spire able to clear there. A pretty huge moment looking for the side of Boise State to lose that Reaper early on. All momentum going to be stalled. Three minutes, not a lot to cap with time. I think Boise would have to win, let's say, three, maybe four fights in a row to cap with any time. As long as UTD can stall out anything, they can probably force at least into an overtime. A flank into the back line works wonders for the side of UTD. They catch Plato out early, and that makes the team notably more comfortable to push forward into this fight. Winston perhaps overextends a bit, and Matt Merck has to pop that Primal just to stay alive. Another ultimate forced out from the side of Boise. Reaper breathing into the back line. Not super sure why, but it looks like he's still going to be kept alive. The support line, incredible bagel. Drops the beat, gives his team some music to drive to, and it looks like it's going to be enough as Pedal goes down. Boise reclaiming the numbers advantage, but Tinspire's Kitsune essentially equalizes this fight. Uh, yeah, they're going to be able to push back very, very aggressively here against Boise State, UT Dallas. Able to take Chosen out of the fight. That's pretty much a fight win at that point, especially considering Boise knows they have time. They know they've got two minutes to try and continue pushing this as far as they can. But again, they're going to be looking down the sights of Petal, who has got this overclock ready to go. Question is, can they outplay clear? Can they outplay clear? play Plato in this next engagement. I think getting off Widow for second point made sense. Wow. I think I would have liked to see Widow here on third, but it looks like maybe oh, that oh, Widow's oh, not oh, even oh. necessary as Bashir catches out two pivotal members of Boise there, the tank and that Lucio forces the stall entirely. Now 90 seconds left on the clock. Boise has more than enough to work with Juggle going into what could be our last full fight. What do you think we're going to be seeing? Uh, well, we're going to be seeing overclock. That is for certain. Abdullah has his primal rage ready to go, so if they can keep Plato at bay. This could be a good opportunity here for UT Dallas. This year going to be forced uh -oh. to back off. Dallas taking this very aggressive. Here comes uh -oh. the death blossom from clear. That's going to be a 2K. That'll get the card moving again. A minute left to go. 60 seconds left on the clock, and the odds of capping with anything right now, pretty low, but doable if Boise can win this next fight. Completely uncontested. They'll have a phenomenal choice of capping with. Even a second on the clock is huge, because then if Boise also caps, you've guaranteed yourself an additional round. But if you cap overtime and they cap with anything, all they need is one kind of... Oh, no, you get a minute. I'm sorry, this is S4, right. not hybrid. I got yeah. confused there for a moment. Kitsune Rush comes out early from Chosen. It won't be canceled out by Tinspire. And they're only at, what is that, 70% right now? So they're a little bit behind what Chosen has been able to farm. Evdala goes down early. And with that, it looks like the rest of UTD will not be far behind. The momentum moving against them. The pressure onto this team. 30 seconds left, less than. And the momentum is going to be huge here. I think they've done it with some time on the clock. But it is sub one minute, so not as much as you'd be expecting. However, Time is time, my friend. They've capped all three. Uh, they have. Again, a very, very difficult point to cap. A very difficult Score. point to cap. So getting it with any time in the bank is cool. quite an accomplishment. So now it all comes down to this attacking round for UT Dallas, Septilins. This is it. They have to full cap here. They have to full cap. Otherwise, Boise State will go home with the grand prize. They will go home with $2,500 in scholarship money. That's, I mean, Boise is l hypothetically four minutes away from $2,500 in scholarship money. Yeah. That is absurd. That is insane. And on the bright side for all those UTD fans at home, if they do lose this, they still go home with, what is it? Let me check, $1,250 in scholarship yeah. money. I mean, that is pretty darn tootin' good if I do say so myself. Oh, yeah. I think it is definitely nothing to be ashamed of, but of course, you know, maybe it's not about winning for the scholarships. Maybe it's about winning for that pride, <laughs> for that honor, because both these teams, I really feel like we haven't honed on this in a minute. They both took down top five teams in the country to be here. I mean, UTD took down Harrisburg, statistically number one yeah. team in the country. Boise takes down Northwood, I think number two, number three team in the country. Yeah. It's incredible that what they did to get here, but right now, I mean, Boise doing incredible. I know Doc is in here somewhere, and he might beat me up for saying this later, <laughs> but I, I've always been hesitant to, to be too supportive of Boise. Overwatch, you know, it felt like they could never break that top 10. To right. me, they always kind of got stuck around that 11 or 12 mark. But the Boise this year, this it's is different. a top five team, no doubt. Oh, yeah. This is a top five team in the country, and I stand by that. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, we talked about all the prizes, of course, these teams are playing for. You can get some as well. Be sure to check out the giveaways we've got going. We've got one for Corsair and Mavix as well. So if you're looking for a chair, be sure to type an exclamation mark giveaway in chat right now uh, so you can get information on how to do that. But in the meantime, Pedal is going to strike first takes Plato out of the equation. That's going to clear up a tremendous amount of room. UT Dallas going to be able to push through this first right away very quick. Pedal is on fire. Pedal gets Bagel mid-air. Mid-air flinging themselves. Lucio just absolutely 
ridiculous to try and hit. That's that's the pedal we know and love. Oh, Amazing yeah. Amazing performance. I mean, he gets, what, four for one there? That's yeah. an incredible deal. A huge moment. They win the fight a lot faster than Boise, which guarantees them probably up to the point. I don't think they're going to cap first for three, but the last fight should happen right there on first. And early engagement from Matt Burke actually buys the team enough time to get in there with only one on cart. UT didn't get as much distance as I thought, but this fight, scratch it, literally does not get to happen. Vagal and clear, <laughs> already gone. They are out of here early on, and it looks like UTD, a dominant performance. I got to talk about it. The Sigma, we haven't had the chance to really discuss it. True. Doing really well right now, already 70 to that flux. Uh, you know what's interesting about this as well is Abdallah started on the Sigma on defense. Went yeah. off it really, really quick uh, to the uh, to the monkey, right, to the Winston. But having so much more success here on attack with it, which is really, I don't think, what you would expect. We're going to see the Disruptor Shot coming in early on from Plato. That's going to push Ooh. several people off the cart. One meter left to go. They're trying to stall this out as much as they can. Matt Burke on the new fail. This was not on my Grand Finals Nace bingo card uh -oh. anywhere. So this is exciting to see Pedal coming in, though, big with another pick onto Bagel. We're going to have the Gravitic Flux coming out as no! well. Pedal Where are you? Time takes out Matt Burke again. Dude, this I is... Pedal is insane. Pedal is a highlight reel right now. I mean, just yeah. deadlifting the other members of his team. I, it is incredible. The crucial picks he finds. Jukebox puts down clear. The first point cap already found. They actually found it 20 seconds faster than Boise was able to. So yeah. right now, UTD is on track to cap this very quickly. If they win it, they, this second point here tends to be about one real fight and maybe a recontest. Yeah. If UTD can win this, they can probably cap it without a real consistent fight happening afterwards. But as they're going to go for an early cap and an early pick, that makes it a lot harder for this team to succeed. Abdala finds the equalizer, a bit of a Katsune clash. Abdallah goes down to Plato deep in the back line, and now the tank has fallen. I think that should be the red light, kind of the hold the S key here for the side of UTD. And even holding S is not going to get them out of the way in time. Hits fire down, and Matt Merck just, oh no, catches him oh, no. on his way out the door. Pedal! He found Bagel! What? Well, how do you how? do that, dude? What? That's nuts. Well yeah. done. He was getting pressured so hard by Winston right there. I mean, you know the light show that you get when you're looking through, uh, you, when you're looking through a Tesla cannon. That's absolutely ridiculous. So well done. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. But Cart is going to get stalled Jukebox. out here. Jukebox has to use the sound barrier early. Plato takes them out as well. That is a huge pick up here for Boise State. This should be another fight in the back for them. Yeah, Juggle has to is kind of a stretch there. I'm a little confused why that beat came out, to be honest. I mean, the fight hadn't even truly really begun yet. They beat early, and then they don't push in. They just continue to beat. But I feel bad I did not give Plato his time in the spotlight right there. A three-piece <laughs> to seal the deal, and a phenomenal one. That's a great slide in to fight Abdallah last. Finding the tank last is huge. It buys your team the additional five, six, seven seconds later that he dies. The team absolutely cannot push in without a tank. The overclock from the side of UTD comes out early. The flux to boot forces beat from Bagel. Wow. And it's going to keep all five members still standing. Instead, it's Abdallah traded out. And all of a sudden, this time back just absolutely withering down for UT Dallas. About half of what they had that first point cap. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was huge. And honestly, I feel like Abdallah got a little bit greedy right there. Uh, using that group of flex right out of spawn, the team could just back up into it, right? Yep. So, he, 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 you know, it didn't come to that, right? Boise was able to get the win regardless, but uh, still, I, I think just a... Uh, not the best, not the best choice oh. right there. Abdallah goes back over to the hog hey. now. So able to get a pick onto clear, but Matt Burke struck first, uh, taking out the Sojourn on UT Dallas' side. Oh, now, another what a goes in. Gonna be a whiff this time. We're gonna have the Kizune rush now on the back. Inspire providing that, and with that, Dallas will get the card and continue to push on. And I think we're seeing something really interesting here because I think Abdallah is going for a comfort pick. You've got two minutes left on what could be your last map. You've got to play what you can play best. For Abdallah, that truly might be that Roadhog. He's trying to yeah. make it work. Pedal goes in early with the help of that Roadhog to support. They're not able to find an Elim, but the presence is scary enough. A full charge railgun can be held for eight seconds before the decay begins, and all you need to do to recharge it is just land a single bullet on anything in the game. All of a sudden, Pedal takes a lot of damage early on. He lives to tell the tale, clears death. Blossom, uh, not super successful. That Blossom withers away early on. Not able to find the even. And Matt Burt is the first to fall. Two ultimates making up for that missing tank. One of them being that Kitsune, forcing out a little bit more momentum here. It is Abdallah who falls to Bagel there. Both tanks down. It's up to the rest of the team to try and make this missing space. And I think Boise has successfully done just that. They're holding on. They're holding on here, Zeppelin. We have only got a minute left to go here. University of Texas, Texas Dallas, their life is on the line. They have to get one of these fights in the next minute. There is no other option for them. Jukebox, you got to be using the sound barrier early. Pedal 
coming in now with the overclock as well. Seeing if they can find a head. Abdallah able to get the finish back close. To On to clear now. So it's going to be a lot of space gained by UD Dallas. Boise backing up pretty quickly, though. Dallas, they're going to have to win one more fight after this. As long yep. as Matt Merck is able to disengage quickly oh! enough, which they're not. That is as good as a fight win right there. University of Texas Dallas, they are now primed to capture this point, as long as they don't make any glaring mistakes. Speaking this of mistakes, oh no, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I thought Pedal was a shoe when you go down there, but <laughs> that Merc falling, I mean, I talked about the importance of losing your tank, your entire team has yeah. to hold ass, has to get out of that fight, and I think Matt should make it back just in time for the fight to fully re-engage, just shy of second point cap, but instead, uh oh, there you go. Oh, They're gonna javelin right in there, spin on early, the beat comes out, cancels out the Blossom in its entirety, and Kashir farms a lot of damage, but the damage not gonna be enough. The 1-1 one -one trade falls, Tinspires Kitsune should be enough to help this team win the fight out early on. The next elimination should decide which way the scales will tip in the overtime. This is now or never for the side of Boise, but Matt Merck has fallen, and I think UTD has this on the line. They're going to be able to cap that second point. Maybe they lose two box. Four members left still standing on the side of Boise. Primal comes out, forces them away. The Kitsune trying to catch them, and it's going to be able to clear clear the back line. He finds Kashira. This could be it. All of a sudden, UTD backs against the wall. The slide advantage is against them, and Boise just refuses to lose! Abdallah also going to fall pedal, not far behind, and Boise State will win 3-0. What a phenomenal. phenomenal showing coming out from Boise State, and what a story for this squad as well. The number five seed clawing their way into the grand finals, usurping all expectations, coming out with a dominant performance on what was absolutely the favorites here today. Absolutely. I mean, UTD, when I came into this, I said this to so many people this morning, and maybe I shouldn't even admit this on broadcast. <laughs> I was like, UTD's probably got this in the bag, because I mentioned this. That's not the Boise I knew going into right. this. That is, that is the Boise that was, you know, a top 15, top 20 team against UTD, top five. I thought this was a no-brainer, Juggle. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I, I genuinely thought UTD was going to have this. But Boise, they have done something. Something is working for this team, oh, yeah. because that was, I said I wanted flawless, that last fight, flawless from Boise. They lose Matt Merck, they peel it back, they slow it down. The second he is back, they do not let go of their W keys. Yeah. And it, 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 was, it was a miracle run. It was incredible, and they defied every and all expectation. Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely phenomenal play all the way around. And uh, very well deserved. They clearly absolutely. did their homework. You know, I, I think we saw that from the word go, from map number one. And these duels that we were looking at, right? Clear clear versus Pedal, right? Clear uh, clear came out on top. Matt Merck versus Abdallah. Matt Merck came out on top today. So this, this is a Boise squad that it, they've been good in the past. They are exceptional right now, and the future looking very, very bright for them too. Absolutely. And you've, you've just got to wonder, you know, I, I, I'm going to bring it up just one more time. Going back to map number two, going back to King's Row, if they picked something else, right. if they picked Midtown, you know, if they picked literally any other map in the game, could there have been a different story to tell? But unfortunately, hindsight's 2020, and, and now, now they know. Unfortunately, and like you know, it's not all unfortunate. 1250 is a lot of money oh, for yeah. scholarship. That's absolutely huge for this program and for this team. And second place is nothing to be upset about. I mean, yeah. absolutely an incredible place to be. But Boise State, I mean, a victory well, well deserved. It, it truly, truly is. And again, can't wait to see what they're going to do. In the Right. I mean, we know uh, so many, so many of these players, Owl, Overwatch League prospects, right? So, um, uh, can't wait to see if if that comes to fruition for them, as well for the UTD squad too, right? Absolutely. You know, uh, uh, Pedal, um, absolutely capable. I think of making a pretty big impression in, in the top uh, top levels of this game. So, so much to be said about both of these squads. But again, at the end of the day, Boise State just uh, came away with a phenomenal showing here and, and doing it. You, you know, we we thought as well that UT Dallas was going to be a little bit more avant-garde, right? Playing yes. some things that were a little yeah. off kilter, maybe a little weird. But really, it was Boise who did that today. And I think Boise kind of rewrote the script. Th there's this right? thing that I talk about a lot in Rocket League, funny enough, which we're going to get to soon. Wink, wink. But um, <laughs> the, the point stands that I always say, you know, in Rocket League, you see a proactive team and a reactive team. Right. And the proactive team tends to be the one in charge, controlling the pace of play, controlling the speed of the game. And that's not often something I can throw out in Overwatch. But I think that's what we saw today. I mean, it's so fascinating because UTD, they would traditionally be our proactive team. Yes. They're the ones that set the pace of play. They're the ones that decide when the fight starts and when the fight ends. But Boise, like you said, flipped the script today. I mean, yeah. they were dominant. 
through and through. They did such a phenomenal job there, setting their own pace of play, choosing to get out of fights or get into fights on their own say, not when UTD decided. And I think, I think that's it. I think that's what gave them the key to success. Uh, yeah, it, it really, really was. It, it, UTD, it, you know, it, they were, they were prepared, right? Yes. But I don't think they were prepared for this. I, I couldn't agree more. And I know we are prepared. Yes. For an interview with somebody from Boise. I can't wait to find out who it is. We're going to throw it to Los on the main stage to hear a little bit of Boise and how they got to their victory here today. Thanks, guys. And now joining me on the main stage, winner here with Boise State, the Overwatch Nace Star League champions. We've got Plato. Plato, I, I have to be honest. First of all, congratulations. But looking into this matchup, it was heavily favored that UTD was going to come out on top. How did UTD... I guess, meet your expectations, or did they at all? Uh, UTD is a great team. They're probably our number one scrim partner. Uh, we just showed up, and, you know, we practice like we've, we've always lost, and, we've, and we play like we've, we've, we've never lost. So we did well. We did what we needed to do. We kept calm. We always had the 0-0 zero -zero mentality, and we just performed well, and we just stuck to what we know best, and that's what mattered at the end of the day. I mean, talking about playing like you never lost, you literally did not lose through this entire playoffs run, a flawless run, in fact. What's, what's going through your mind that you continued that even into the grand finals? Uh, it's great. You know, Boise, honestly, used to have a good reputation for choking in playoffs. I'm not going to lie, but, True. you know, for, for once, we pulled through. We, we kept consistent. And I, I'm super proud of my team and everybody, and it's amazing to be here. It was a great time. Without a doubt. Now, the momentum started off with Oasis, but then when UTD picked into King's Row, we know you guys are strong. It's the Boise Boulevard. It's not King's Row. Oh, yeah. What were you thinking when they picked that? Okay, well, first thing we were thinking when they picked King's Row was we're locking the Bastion, number one. Uh, and what I was thinking personally was I just love that map. I like That's probably our, our most played map, so it was just it was super nice being comfortable in the environment and just playing as we always do. So it was nice. Well, now things are going to get a little bit different with the new season starting up. How do you think that's going to change your, your team's composition? Now, you know you were on the Sojourn quite a bit, doing some serious work. What are you thinking going ahead into the next month? Yeah, I love Sojourn. She's been meta. She's had her time. She's probably going to be gone soon. Uh, the new tank's probably going to be busted, and then Matt will have to, his time to shine. So, uh, you know, we'll take turns. Uh, we'll, we, we'll keep playing around who we have to enable all that stuff, uh, you know, enable the best player, enable the, the comp, what the comp goes around, uh, and whatever it is, you know, hopefully we can adapt and get good at scrimming and everything like that. Some good plans for the future, but you've earned a victory today. You can enjoy the rest of the semester with your heads held high as champion. So I'm gonna let you have it, Plato. The floor is yours. Tell the people at home what's on your mind. Uh, yeah, I'm happy as hell right now. Uh, we did it. We came out here. We did as expected. We popped off. I'm so proud of my team and everybody here. Uh, thank you to everyone at home. A tons of support. Clear's family's out here. Thanks for everyone to show up. Coach Ellie Vo. Uh, I love everybody. Everybody's putting insane work. I'm proud of us all. So thank you. Good game. Good game indeed. Congratulations one more time for Plato and everybody at home. Give it up for Boise State. And that'll wrap it up.